not, I think I have more nicknames about my first name. I don't know how, but um, my full name is Abby, but people like to call me Abigail for fun. Sometimes I get Gail, Gailey, rock, rock and roll, rocker, things like that. Oh yeah, whatever, whatever they want to call me, I'll respond. I think it's, uh, it's kind of been crazy over the course of my hockey journey watching them play from my living room. Uh, I could tell you so many times when I watched the 2014 and 2018 Olympic gold game and just as you go up you realize how amazing they are as people. They are so great to everybody in the locker room and they want to make sure you know like we're not like this player you like watched growing up. We're like somebody who like is on your team now. We're all teammates. We're all on the same like level field, things like that. I think that's what's really great about them. It's just, it's a really fun thing to be a part of, to just watch them do their thing, how they carry themselves with, with uh, such professionalism, and then just, they're just all great people and really want to help grow the sport, so it's awesome. I think a lot of it for me is that I want to see the sport get a little more diverse. Uh, it'd be great to get some, some more BIPOC players in here. I'm indigenous myself, so just getting more indigenous players playing the game is something that I really hope continues on and continues to grow because it's so important. We don't want the sport to be just a, a white sport. We want the sport to be diverse and we all, we, all, we're, we all want to be inclusive. So me personally want to strive for and I think a lot of the girls too out there really want to help continue that as well. For us, um, I'm actually tribal in Canada. So I'm First Nation and my tribe, we have a rank about 20 minutes away from where the residential land is, but I know right now they're trying to get money to build like a little outdoor rink just to try to introduce people into the game and stuff like that. And I think that's a huge piece of it is it doesn't have to be like, you're in like a league right away. It's just like making sure these kids like can pick up a stick, get them a stick, get them some skates and they can go play on some ponds. And if they really want to like it and try it, then, then you start getting them in leagues. Just making sure that it is accessible and they can know how fun it is. I think it's growing so rapidly. I think it's just going to be blown up. I think the more people watch it, the more people realize just how great the sport is. It's, it is hockey, and I think it's great hockey, but it's also very different, I think, than the, than the men's side of hockey. It's a different kind of game. You have to kind of be a little more strategic without the full body checking. You also, but it's still physical. It's so fast. I think the more people just continue to watch it, it's just going to continue to grow, and I'm really excited for that.